Mass for You at Home is proudly supported by Catholic Mission. Be the difference in someone's life today. Phone 1800 257 296 or visit catholicmission.org.au. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, with your spirit. spirit. I welcome you to the 33rd Sunday of Ordinary Time, a time where we're thinking about the start of Advent, the start of preparing for Christmas. Lord Jesus, you have revealed yourself as the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord. You have poured out on your people the spirit of truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the good shepherd leading us to eternal life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us into everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And we pray, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Daniel. At that time, Michael will stand up. The great prince who mounts guard over your people. There is going to be a time of great distress, unparalleled since nations first came into existence. When that time comes, your own people will be spared. All those whose names are found written in the book. Of those who lie sleeping in the dust of the earth, many will awake, some to everlasting life, some to shame and everlasting disgrace. The learned will shine as brightly as the vault of heaven and those who have instructed many in virtue as bright as stars for all eternity. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
right hand, I shall not be moved. Lord, you will show us the path of life. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. All the priests stand at their duties every day, offering over and over again the same sacrifices which are quite incapable of taking sins away. Christ, on the other hand, has offered one single sacrifice for sins and then taken his place forever at the right hand of God, where he is now waiting until his enemies are made into a footstool for him. By virtue of that one single offering, he has achieved the eternal perfection of all whom he is sanctifying. When all sins have been forgiven, there can be no more sin offerings. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Be watchful and pray constantly that you may be worthy to stand before the Son of Man. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, In those days after the time of distress, the sun will be darkened the moon will lose its brightness, the stars will come falling from heaven, and the powers in the heaven will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. Then too he will send the angels to gather his chosen from the four winds, from the ends of the world to the ends of heaven. Take the fig tree as a parable. As soon as its twigs grow supple and its leaves come out, you know that summer is near. So with you, when you see these things happening, know that he is near, at the very gates. I tell you solemnly, before this generation has passed away, all these things will have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But as for that day or hour, nobody knows it, neither the angels of heaven, nor the Son, no one but the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we gather today on this 33rd Sunday of Ordinary Time, we also remember the World Day of the Poor. So in many ways, our Mass today will be thinking of the poor in our world, but also at looking at the readings of today's scripture. Next Sunday, of course, is the feast of great feast of Christ the King. So today, <clears throat> this Mass today is a time to take stock. We could call it a stock-taking sale, but it's more than that. It's looking at our journey of life and faith Therefore, today we look at the end times, not negatively, but through the eyes of faith and our ultimate destiny, which is to be with the Lord. How joyful is that? The Lord calls us, reminds us today, even in our poverty, the poverty of our world, the people who are poor, he calls us to be with him forever. St. Mary MacKillop of the Cross said, we are but travellers to the true home the heart of Jesus, the the eternity of heaven. 
Today's readings reflect very much on our call today to take stock. The prophet Daniel promises eternal life. The letters of the Hebrew, Hebrews speaks because of to us, because of Christ's sacrifice, we are freed from sin and death for all eternity. We're racing through the scriptures, but each of them have a word to say to us. The Gospel of St. Mark speaks of a cosmic event, darkened sun, stars falling from heaven. It's a true vision. And then we see the Son of Man coming with power and glory. He is near. So now, in this 33rd week, as we approach Advent, now is the favourable time to live in the light and not to die in the darkness. The famous Dr. Kubler-Ross, who studied at the University of Chicago, wrote a book on death and dying. And she worked with terminally ill people. And this book was very much based on, on her experience with terminally ill people. Their feelings about life as they looked back. Her own words, they saw in the final anal analysis that only two things mattered. The service that rent you were rendered to others and love in your life. She said, all those things we think are important, like fame, money, prestige, and power, are insignificant. Jesus said, the Son of Man came to serve, not to be served, and to love one another, just as I have loved you. In that love, we place our prayers. In that love, we place our hope. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now we pray our creed. We acknowledge our faith in the Lord. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. My brothers and sisters, alert to our needs and the needs of the whole world, let us bring our prayers before the God of all. On this world day of the poor, that all who experience poverty and injustice around the world will find comfort and hope in God who hears their cries. Hear us, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church, entrusted with God's kingdom on earth, will work with creativity and zeal in providing for the spiritual and material needs of people during this time of pandemic. Hear us, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we who are gathered will remain faithful in little things. Hear us, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Generous God, you lavish us with the gifts so that we may work for the coming of your reign. Hear these prayers and help us to remain faithful to your word. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. For it is right and just. It's truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always everywhere to give you thanks. Father, Lord, almighty, eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning, we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, ascending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Brian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, the Glorious Martyrs, with St. John Vianney, St. Mary of the Cross MacKillop, and all the saints, 
who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say the prayer that unites all Christian people. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord, the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus, who loves us, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, with your spirit. and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. And my dear people, know that the Lord is with you for this whole week loving and calling you forward. Hi, I'm Brian Mascord. I invite you to consider, if you are able to, to provide financial assistance to help extend the 50-year legacy of Mass for You at Home.